Bring in constitutional attorney Jonathan Turley. He's also a Fox News contributor. I want to get to uh, the fact that several uh, analysts, including Kim Strassel at the Wall Street Journal and our colleague Andy McCarthy, uh, think that in many ways it's the FBI that is under the microscope here in this trial. But I do want to get your reaction to the fact that one of these charges has been dropped against Danchenko and that his side is not going to put on a case. Well, first of all, that was the weakest of the five uh, counts. I was actually surprised it was included. I think the court is right. In some ways, it strengthens the prosecution case not to have that count, because I felt that it was uh, really something that was begging for uh, a, a hung jury or an acquittal. Uh, so they'll go forward on those stronger, more direct counts. As for the defense not presenting a case, that may not reflect confidence as much as uh, strategy. You know, sometimes the defense really doesn't have much to put on uh, while risking a possible uh, impeachment or cross-examination that could go wrong. And David is certainly right that you sort of look at the case in chief of the government and you decide uh, whether you'll gain that much by presenting more of your own witnesses. In this case, the defense did robust cross-examination. So I think they're going to play this conservatively uh, and not present a case which can present targets for the prosecution. And, and so you can lose ground as well as gain ground. So I, I want to read a quote from Kim Strassel's piece on this this case and FBI's uh, Durham's FBI indictment is what it's called. She says partisanship and incompetence aren't crimes. So the FBI isn't in the dock, but Mr. Durham is making the case for the public and it is as ugly as they come. And this from Andy McCarthy, yes, Igor Danchenko is on trial, but the spotlight ought to be on the FBI and on what Durham's final report will have to say about the nation's premier federal law enforcement agency. Because really what we have learned here to the layperson, I think, Jonathan, is, is that everybody was getting paid. Igor Danchenko had been on the FBI uh, on the FBI um, pay list as well, to the tune of hundreds of thousands right. of dollars as an informant. They told Christopher Steele in October of 2016, just weeks before the presidential election, they'd give him a million dollars to confirm what was in this dossier. And what we learned is that the sources didn't even speak to the people that they said gave them this information and dirt on Donald Trump. And then they turned it all in to get, uh, to, to get a FISA warrant so that they could get a hook into the Trump team through Carter Page, who says, even though he was also an informant at one point, he was never paid a dime. What do you think? No, it's, it's, it's very alarming. And one of the most important aspects of this special counsel is he will hopefully produce a report. Uh, you know, the statute of limitations is running out on a lot of crimes, so there is a limitation on how far he could likely go. But the thing that most of us had hoped for with the appointment of a special counsel is to have a report because it is really breathtaking how much either special counsel Mueller did not know or chose not to put into his report. We have learned a lot. Uh, from this special counsel, including how the Hillary Clinton campaign funded the Steele dossier, denied they were funding it. They hid that funding uh, through their attorney, Mark Elias. Uh, and they ultimately got false statements into the media. They, they put forward false claims into the FBI. But then on the FBI side, it was really breathtaking. I mean, it had the feel of a canned hunt. I mean, they were saying, look, we'll give you a million dollars if you can bag Trump. And then they went ahead and hired the same person used, I mean, they, they previously, they, they kept as an informant the person used in the Steele dossier. And so this cross-pollinization raises additional questions. This is all very, very disturbing. And I think yeah. that uh, this report from the special counsel is going to be one of the most important reports that we're going to get out of any of these investigations. Uh, well, let's hope something comes of it. I mean, I mean, it's good to have a report. My mind just keeps going back to Jim Comey sitting there with President, with candidate Trump and saying, gee, sir, we, we really want to show you this. We've got some really bad right. stuff on you, and it's about to come out in the press when they knew that they couldn't corroborate what was in there. It is absolutely, I mean, I hope that report, uh, I hope there's some meat, some meat on the bones in that report. Jonathan, thank you very much. Jonathan Turley. Thank you, Martha. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.